Tobe Davis here with another Agave Spirit Symposium. And the subject today is going to be that Agave Spirit is closest to American hearts. So tall. Now, somebody out there, I'm sure, is saying, Sujesto tus caballo, amigo. Don't you mean tequila? Not necessarily, because if you look at the map, the tequila producing regions of Mexico are in blue. The Sotol producing regions are in orange. And the black line is the U.S. Mexican border. So geographically, Sotol is closer to American hearts than even tequila. Uh, in his immortal book, Insurgent Mexico, Journalist John Reed, following the exploits of Pancho Villa and his division of the North during the Mexican Revolution of 1913, mentions Sotol six times before he mentions tequila even once. So that goes to show you that Sotol is actually the agave spirit of northern Mexico. Sotol is created in very much the same fashion as tequila, but it's not produced from the blue agave. It's produced from a plant that's called sotol. Uh, it also goes by the name of the desert spoon and also by the Latin name Desilirium huilari asparagasi, which comes to about 127 on a Scrabble double word score. And if any tile heads are out there laughing up their sleeve about me saying 127 on a double word score, all I got to say to you is, oh wait, no. ha. the camera reverses it. Uh, the Sotol plant, or the desert spoon plant, starts its life looking rather like this looking like a sea urchin that lost its way and ended up somewhere in the desert of Chihuahua or Durango. Uh, it grows like this for about 15, 20 years before it matures and is able to reproduce. And then it looks like this. In the words of Austin Power, oh, behave. Once it is that size, then it can be processed very much in the way blue agaves are processed for tequila. And it's made into the fine drink that we see here called Sotol. So if you get a chance to try it, it's every bit as good as tequila, if not better. And I recommend it highly. Adios, amigo! Early the next morning, I proceeded to the railhead and was admitted into the caboose, which served as Villa's mobile command headquarters. I found the general sitting on the edge of the metal frame bed in his blue union suit. Buenos dias, mi general, I said. Villa expectorated on the floor and then fixed me with a caustic gaze. What do you want? He growled. Uh, my readers in America wish to know... Uh, what is your favorite agave spirit? Via yawned, stretched, pondered the question, and then replied, I don't always drink agave spirits, but when I do, I prefer Sotol. Oh, I forgot to turn it off.